All right, if you grab your Bibles and turn to Romans chapter 6 with me. This morning we um, had the message of abiding in the true vine. Tonight, the message is in the likeness of His resurrection. Yeah. And so we're going to read from verse 1 down to verse 14, if you will. Uh, stand with me in reference yeah. to God's Word. Amen. Romans chapter 6, starting in verse 1, says, What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? Know ye not that so many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into His death? Therefore we are buried with Him by baptism into death, that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. For if we have been planted together in the likeness of His death, we shall be also in the likeness of His resurrection. Yeah. Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with Him, mm -hmm. that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin. For he that is dead is freed from sin. Now if we be dead with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with Him. <coughs> Knowing that Christ, being raised from the dead, dieth no more, Death hath no more dominion over him. Yeah. For in that he died, he died unto sin once. But in that he liveth, he liveth unto God. Amen. Likewise reckon ye <coughs> also yourselves to be dead indeed unto sin, but alive unto God through Jesus Christ our Lord. Let not sin therefore <coughs> reign in your mortal body, but that ye should obey it, or that ye should obey it, in the lust thereof. Neither yield ye your members as instruments of unrighteousness unto sin, but yield yourselves unto God, as those that are alive from the dead, and your members as instruments of righteousness unto God. Yeah. For sin shall not have dominion over you, for ye are not under the law, but under grace. Amen. Lord, we thank you tonight that we are under grace. <coughs> Lord, that we have... Uh, such <coughs> liberty in Jesus Christ. Yeah. And as we uh, heard this morning of, about abiding in the true vine, <coughs> Lord, here we find if we are, have been planted together, Lord, in your death, that we might also live in the resurrection of Jesus Christ and the newness of life. Yeah. Lord, we just pray that you would help us to glean your truths tonight. That we might apply them in our lives and store them in our hearts. Lord, that we might live a life pleasing unto you. Forgive us where we fail you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 You may be seated. He says, Know ye not that so many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death. And that is the... the uh, I guess what we show in our baptism is that we have given our lives to the Lord Jesus Christ to die with Him, to be buried with Him, and to be risen to new life in Him. Yeah. And so that whole picture there uh, is a commemoration, if you want to say, something that we can look back on to show that, you know what? I uh, committed myself to live in the newness of life. Yeah. That I have given myself to Jesus Christ not to live in the old man, but in the new man, which is Jesus Christ. John chapter 12, if you look over with me. Because as we uh, heard this morning that Jesus is life. Amen. Yeah. He is life. 
And that if we abide in Him, then we are going to abide in His life. John chapter 12 and verses 24 through 26. It says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die, it abideth alone. But if it die, it bringeth forth much fruit. He that loveth his life shall lose it. And he that hateth his life in this world shall keep it unto life eternal. If any man serve me, let him follow me. And where I am, there shall also my servant be. If any man serve me, him will my father honor. Yeah. And so here we see the uh, example that Jesus gave to us of a corn of wheat uh, or a seed. That uh, without being planted into the ground, into the earth, and dying, it cannot do anything. It's not good for anything, okay? But once it is planted into that earth, once we have been planted into Jesus Christ, into His death, just as He was uh, died and was put, put into the uh, tomb, once we have done that, then we can bring forth much fruit in Jesus Christ. Once we have died to ourselves and have given our lives to Him, then through Him we can bear much fruit. Amen. Yeah. In 1 Corinthians chapter 15, because as we read this morning, without Him we can do nothing. Yeah. And it's the same principles. Just told a little, a little different. But the same principle that with, without Jesus, we're nothing. Right. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 26 through 34, it says, The last enemy that shall be destroyed is dead. For he hath put all things under his feet. But when he hath said, or but when he saith, all things are put under Him. It is manifest that He is accepted, which did put all things under Him. And when all things shall be subdued unto Him, then shall the Son also Himself be subject unto Him that put all things under Him, that God may be all in all. Else what shall they do which are baptized for the dead? For if the dead rise not at all, why are they then baptized for the dead? And why stand we in jeopardy every hour? I protest by your rejoicing, which I have in Christ Jesus our Lord, I die daily. Yeah. If after the manner of men I have fought with beasts at Ephesus, what advantage it me, if the dead rise not? Let us eat and drink, for tomorrow we die. Yeah. Be not deceived. Evil communications corrupt good manners. Yeah. Awake to righteousness and sin not, for some have not the knowledge of God. I speak this to your shame. Yeah. So we know this chapter, he's speaking of the resurrection to those who believe there were no uh, or was no resurrection. But he's telling them that their faith is vain if there is no resurrection. Mm -hmm. And even beyond that, he tells them not only is there going to be a resurrection, but we need to live in that resurrection now. Yeah. He says, I die daily. <laughs> so that I might live in the power of His resurrection. Amen. He says, I die daily. I live in that power each day. The resurrection of Jesus Christ is not something uh, that will benefit us only on one day. But it benefits us, benefits us every day. Amen. Amen. Yeah. It is a power and a strength that God has that we can tap into every day of our life if we will do as He says here and die to ourselves mm -hmm. so that we might live for Christ. Yeah. And He says, Be not deceived. Evil communications corrupt good manners. You can't have it both ways. Amen. You can't live in Christ and live in the world also. You have to be separate from the world and awake to righteousness and sin not. And if you are going to live in Jesus Christ and in the power of His resurrection, then 
He will keep you from sin. Amen. 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 Colossians chapter 3. Because if Christ did not raise from the dead, then we have no power even to live for Him now. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. The power that we live for Him now is through His resurrection. Colossians chapter 3, verses 1 through 11 says, If ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. For ye are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. Yeah. When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with Him in glory. Mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth, fortification, uncleanness, inordinate affection, evil concupiscence, and covetousness, which is idolatry, <laughs> for which things sake the wrath of God cometh on the children of disobedience, in the which ye also walked some time when ye lived in them. But now ye also put off all these, anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. Lie not one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his deeds. And have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. Amen. Amen. Where there is neither Greek nor Jew, circumcision nor uncircumcision, barbarian, Scythian, bond nor free, but Christ is all and in all. Amen. Put on, therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved. That word holy means separate. Bowels of mercies, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long suffering, forbearing one another, and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do he. And above all these things, put on charity, which is the bond of perfectness. Amen. Listen. He says, if ye be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above. Yeah. That is the whole point of being risen in Christ, mm -hmm. is seeking those things that are above. Yeah. Amen. It is not the point of being risen with Christ to seek our own welfare and the things of our own, but to seek the things of others. Because that is those things above. Amen. Is that we are to seek to help others come to Christ. Yeah. To set our affections on things above. Those spiritual things and not the physical things on this earth. Why? For ye are dead. Amen. Mm -hmm. Or you should be. Yeah. If you've risen with Christ, then you've died with Christ. Mm -hmm. If you've not died with Christ, then you're not risen yeah. with Christ. Amen. Amen. Until you die, you cannot live in His resurrection. Mm -hmm. Amen? <clears throat> Until you have died to yourself, you cannot live for Him. And so, don't tell me you're living in His resurrection if you haven't died to yourself. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Amen. Amen. Because you can't have the one without the other. You cannot live in His resurrection. You cannot be risen with Him to seek those things that are above until you have first died with Him. Yeah. And if ye are dead, your life is hid with Christ in God. And we know that when He comes back, when we see Christ, who is our life, amen? Mm -hmm. And I'm glad He put it that way. Amen. Because He is our life. Our life should be as it becometh the gospel of Jesus yeah. Christ. Amen. Why? Because He is our life. Mm -hmm. He is all and in all. Amen. Yeah. And so He is going to appear and we shall appear with Him in glory. And knowing this, amen, having a hope.
that we will one day stand before our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to receive that new body that He has prepared for us and them that love Him. We are to mortify our members which are upon the earth. That means to kill them, to put them to death. And if we will do that, then we can live in His resurrection. Yeah. In the power of His resurrection. That's why Paul said, you know what, I've counted all those things but lost for Christ. For the excellency of Christ. Amen. And do count them but dumb. Amen? Yeah. Why? Because you have to get rid of all that stuff. <laughs> So that you can live in the power of His resurrection. Yeah. Yeah. To press toward the mark. For if we have been planted together in the likeness of His dead. Amen. Mm -hmm. We have been planted with Him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that goes hand in hand with this morning, isn't it? Yeah. That He is the true vine. Mm -hmm. We are the branches. Yeah. Yeah. If we have been planted with Him, guess what? We're going to be like the, the apostles and the disciples. We can't help but speak of the Amen. things which we've yeah. seen and heard. Yeah. Right. Amen. Amen. Because if you've been planted with Him, He's going to come out of you. Amen. Amen. He's going to start working in you and through you to do His will. Yeah. Amen. For if we have been planted together in the likeness of His death... Paul said, I die daily. Amen. <coughs> now the likeness to which we showed, we were <coughs> into his death. Okay. We showed that we had been given our life to Christ, that we had accepted him as our Savior, that we had died with him, been buried with him, and risen to new life. You know what? Paul said, I die daily. It's something that we have to continue in. Yep. Yeah. Just as I was talking last Sunday, you know, it's good if you've read the Bible two or three times, but unless you continue in it, it doesn't do you any good. Yeah. Right. Yep. Amen? Just like a diet. I can lose so many pounds, but unless I continue in it, I'm going to gain it all back and more. But when you continue in it, then He can work in you. So if we have been planted together in the likeness of His death, we shall be also... In the likeness of His resurrection. Yeah. We have to continue in that picture of our baptism. Mm -hmm. Every day. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And it might even help us to have that picture in our mind of our baptism. You know yesterday we talked about uh, how the marriage ceremony should not just be something that uh, you know they just do on one day. But to continue in that. Mm -hmm. To remember that, uh, of the covenant that they made before God. Yeah. You know what? Our baptism was a covenant that we made before our God. Mm -hmm. Amen. <clears throat> and we should remember that covenant. And it will help us in doing what that covenant means. Yeah. And that is dying to ourselves and living in the likeness of His resurrection. Amen. Look at Ephesians chapter 2. I would even, you know, it, it, you might not have had pictures of your baptism. You know what? If you did, I'd commemorate that, man. Take that picture, blow it up, put it on your wall. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not to pat yourself on, a on your back, but to remember, hey, I'm to die to myself. Yeah. To live in the power of His resurrection. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Yeah. That's a good reminder, isn't yeah. it? Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. I've got one of my, I've got one picture of my baptism that my mom gave me. And I have it hanging on my wall. And every time I see it, you know, I remember. I'm not my own. Yeah. I'm bought with a price. Yeah. Amen. I belong to someone else. Yeah. And that's Jesus Christ. Yeah. Ephesians chapter 2 and verses 1 through 10. Just like this ring on my finger. Every time I look at it, I say, well, I'm not my own. Mm -hmm. I belong to someone else. Mm -hmm. Amen. That baptism. Yes. I don't own. I don't own myself anymore. I belong to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Right. That's Amen. good. Amen. I'll be honest, that just came to me tonight, too. <laughs> Amen. Mm. 
Isn't God good? Yes. Amen. I preach to myself sometimes up here, or all the time, really. <laughs> Ephesians chapter 2, starting in verse 1, it says, And you hath he quickened, who were dead in trespasses and sins, wherein in time past ye walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. Among whom also we all had our conversation in time past in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. Yeah, yeah. Do you know it's natural? Yeah. It's natural. Mm -hmm. You don't have to teach a child to do wrong. Mm -hmm. Amen. Right. It's in them. They know how to disobey. Amen. It's, it's already in their uh, flesh. But verse 4, but God, yeah. who is rich in mercy, for His great love wherewith He loved us, even when we were dead in sins, hath quickened us together with Christ. Yeah. By grace ye are saved. Yes. And hath raised us up together. Yep. Amen. Amen. That's right now. Yeah. Yeah. We are to live in that resurrection now. Yeah. And hath raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places yeah. in Christ Jesus. Yeah. I'm going to tell you what, when you come to church, you're coming to heavenly places. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Or you should be if you're yeah. coming in the spirit. Amen. You're coming in the flesh, you're going to miss it all. Yeah. Right. But if you're coming in the spirit seeking Jesus Christ, you're sitting in heaven. Yeah, I'm going to tell you what, we get lifted up a little higher when we sing that song, It Is Well With My Soul. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Amen. I'm going to tell you what, we sing that song, sometimes it's almost like I can hear the angels singing with us. Yeah. Amen. Woo. And hath raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. I like what Dad said this morning in Sunday school class. You know, sometimes we take Jesus with us places we shouldn't be taking. Mm -hmm. I mean, if He's living in us, amen? Yeah. Mm -hmm. If we have Jesus Christ in our heart, sometimes we go places we shouldn't be taking our yeah. Lord and Savior. Yeah. Sometimes we see things that we shouldn't see with our Lord and Savior, Jesus yeah. Christ. Sometimes we listen to things in our car we shouldn't be listening to when we have Jesus Christ in our hearts, yeah. amen? That in the ages to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace and his kindness toward us through Christ Jesus. Amen. For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. Not of works, lest any man should boast. For we are his workmanship. Amen. 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 Yep. Created in Christ Jesus. How? By being planted with him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. Yep. That's how we are created in Him, yep. is we've been planted with Him mm -hmm. unto good works, which God hath before ordained that we should walk, continue yeah. in them. Yeah. Yeah. We need to continue in that. We all remember when we were dead in trespasses and sins, mm -hmm. but we have been quickened. Yeah. We have been planted together in the likeness of the dead. <coughs> That we also shall walk in the likeness of His resurrection. Amen. Amen. Philipp Philippians chapter 3. Verses 7 through 14 it says. And I, I just talked about this. But, and I've read this probably three or four times over the last couple of weeks. In, this, in my sermons. Verse 7, But what things were gained to me, those I counted lost for Christ. Yea, doubtless, and I count all things but lost for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but dumb, that I may win Christ. And be found in Him, not having mine own righteousness, which is of the law, but that which is through the faith of Christ, the righteousness which is of God by faith, that I may know Him and the power of yeah. His res resurrection 
and the fellowship of His sufferings, being made conformable unto His death. Yeah. I mean, this is going hand in hand, isn't it? Yeah. Amen. He's talking about the same thing. Sometimes we like to, you know, separate things. But you know what? It all comes down to, have you died to yourself? Yeah. Yeah. Have you rested in the death of Jesus Christ to live in the power of His resurrection? Yeah, yeah. Have you been made conformable unto His death? Verse 11, if by any means I might attain unto the resurrection of the dead. Not as though I had already attained. Either we're already perfect. You know why we have to continue in it? Because we haven't already attained. Amen. Yeah. Boy, we're still learning. I know I am. And I know we'll still learn until the day God calls us home. Yeah. But I follow after. I continue in. That if I... That if that I may apprehend that for which also I am apprehended of Christ Jesus. Amen. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended but this one thing I do. Forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Amen. That's what we need to continue to do. Yeah. To continue in it. To press toward the mark every day. To leave those things that which are behind. Did you serve God yesterday acceptably? Well, praise God. You know what? You've got to leave that behind and continue to press forward. Yeah. You can't live in yesterday. Right. What we used to do. How we used to do. All those things. Oh, they're good memories. Amen. And praise the Lord for all the good memories. You know what? We got we can't live in the past. We gotta to press toward the mark. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and I, I use sports sometimes a lot in my examples, but you know what? In the game of football, just because you won last week don't mean you're gonna win this week. Mm -hmm. You gotta prepare, you gotta be ready to face the team you're gonna face. Because it don't matter if you won by 100 points last week. Don't mean you're going to win this week. Yeah. Just by showing up. Sometimes we do that in our lives. Yeah. Sometimes we think, well, just because I had a good day yesterday, it's just all going to be gravy today. Mm -hmm. No, you still have to prepare every day yeah. to face the enemy that you're going to face that day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why? Because sufficient to the day is the evil thereof. Right. Amen. Mm -hmm. You've got to prepare. You've got to die daily. Just because you died yesterday don't mean you're dying today. You might pat yourself on the back of what you've done in the past, but you know what? None of that means anything if you don't continue in it today. Amen. Continue in it. You know what? And then when we see Christ, and then we'll be able to glory in those things. Because we did it all for Him and it wasn't in vain. Amen. Amen. And that's what even Paul told the church. He said, it's not in vain if ye continue in it. Amen? Yeah. We have to press toward the mark. Don't count yourself as apprehending, but forgetting those things which are behind, reaching forth unto those things which are before. Amen. Yeah. Look at John chapter 15. I know we read this this morning, but we're going to read it again. <clears throat> Verses 1 through 5, I am the true vine, and my Father is the husbandman. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it, that it may bring forth more fruit. Yeah. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me. He didn't say, now your work's done. Yeah. You're good for the rest of your life. No, nope. he said, abide in me. Yeah. Continue. And I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. And no more can ye except ye abide in me. I am the vine, 
ye are the branches. Abide, or he that abideth in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth much, so that we might also be in the likeness of his resurrection. For sin shall not have dominion over you. For ye are not under the law, but under grace. Amen. Continuing in that death and, and, and in the likeness of His resurrection is keeping ourselves in His grace. Amen. Not under the law, but under grace. Because that's what grace did for us. Is it sent Jesus Christ to the cross to die for our sins. Yes. And He rose again. Not just that He died, but that He rose again. To bring us justification, sanctification, redemption, Amen. Amen. and power to live for Him. Look at Titus chapter 2. Titus chapter 2, verses 11 through 15, it says, For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men, yeah. teaching us. <laughs> Isn't it awesome that the grace of God teaches us? Yes, yeah. it is. Teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly. When? In this present world. Yeah. That means right now. Yeah. Right now. When is it right now? Right now. Mm -hmm. Right now. Yeah. Right now. I mean, time keeps ticking, but it's still right now. Amen. In this mm -hmm. present world. Yeah. Looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Who gave Himself <coughs> that He might redeem us from all iniquity. And purify unto himself a peculiar people zealous of good works. These things speak and exhort and rebuke with all authority. Let no man despise yeah. them. You know, I want to use another sports uh, example here, analogy here. You know what? To get to the goal that you <coughs> set for yourself in, the, in sports... You, you can't just skip to the end. You got to take it one play at a time. One down. Especially, you know, teams really emphasize that. Coaches really emphasize that to the players, especially when they're down. Mm -hmm. When they're down like 14 nothing, Guys, don't look at the scoreboard. Okay, we got to take this one play at a time. Mm -hmm. Okay? Don't worry about the score right now. Think of it as being zero zero. Sometimes the coaches, when they uh, they're trying to keep their players motivated, even when they're up, they do that. They might be the other team, fourteen and zero. Don't look at that scoreboard and and, and then just quit playing. Okay, it's zero zero. Okay, let's keep one play at a time. And you know what? That's what he's saying here in this present world. We've got to take it one moment at a time, don't yeah. we? Because that's all we have. Yeah. We can't start to look at the end game, you know, as far as what God expects from us. What God wants in our life. You know what? God will reveal that in time. Won't yeah. We just need to worry about the now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We just need to focus on what we're doing for God now, and then God's going to lead us and direct us. You know what? When we look back, we'll say, wow. Look at all those things that God did yeah. in my life. And you know what? He wants to do that because He gave Himself for mm -hmm. us. That He might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto Himself a peculiar people zealous of good works. Yeah. Look at Galatians chapter 5. Galatians 
chapter 5, verses 1 through 6. I just want to say God is so good. Yes, He is. Yes. Yes. Amen. Verses 1 through 6 says, Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free. Amen. And be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Behold, I call say unto you that if ye be circumcised, Christ shall profit you nothing. For I testify again to every man that is circumcised that he is a debtor to do the whole law. Mm -hmm. Christ is <laughs> of no effect unto you. Whosoever of you are justified by the law, ye are fallen from grace. Mm -hmm. For we through the Spirit wait for the hope of righteousness by faith. Mm -hmm. For in Jesus Christ... Neither circumcision availeth anything, nor uncircumcision, but faith which worketh by love. Yeah. Amen. We can't think that by doing what God expects from us, in other words, by keeping the law, that we're going to be able to conquer mm -hmm. the enemy. Now, Jesus conquers the enemy. Yeah. Amen. Amen. He's the one who conquered death. Amen. He's the one who conquered the grave. You know what? If we'll rest in Him, the things that He expects us to do will come freely. Amen. We'll stand in the liberty in Christ and not be entangled in the bondage. Because in the doing of the law, it brought no one to glory. Right. No, it condemned us. Amen. By keeping of the law, it did not bring righteousness to us. No, that is by faith in Jesus Christ. Don't think you're going to overcome your demons by keeping of the law. No, you're going to overcome your demons by dying to yourself and resting in what Jesus did for you. Amen. And then He's going to work through you. He's going to give you the power to do what He has called you to do. Amen. And He's going to defeat your enemies. Yes. Amen. Isn't that good? Yes. So stand fast in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free. That liberty of giving ourselves to Him and saying, Lord, here am I. Amen. Amen. Die to yourself. Decrease that He might increase. And then watch God work in your life as He has promised Man, we've seen a lot of promises here tonight that He will. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We are His workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works which were before ordained that we should walk in them. Yeah. It's <laughs> of grace. Amen. Yes. For by grace are you saved through faith and that not of yourselves. It is a gift of God. Amen. Rest in that gift. Amen. Mm -hmm. Keep reminding yourself. Have that commemoration of how you committed yourself to Jesus Christ by dying with Him. Amen. By being planted together in the likeness of His death. That you might also live in the likeness of His resurrection. Amen. And when you do that, then sin will not have dominion over you. You want to defeat your enemies? Then just rest in the, the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Die to yourself and say, Lord, I'm going to serve you today. Amen. 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 And then God will give you the victory. Yeah. Look at 2 Corinthians chapter 3. <coughs> now so many people do wrong and have problems and they say, well, I'll correct it. I'll get it right. I won't do that anymore. You know what? You don't have that power. Amen. You don't. Right. Your flesh is wicked. Yeah. Right. You might think you're going to set out today and just whip the devil, but mm -hmm. you don't have that power. That's right. Man, you need right. to draw nigh unto God. That's right. right. And yeah. he will draw nigh unto you. Yeah. Amen. That's how you resist the devil is you humble yourself under God. Amen. You say, Lord, I need you. Amen. Lord, I need you today, Lord. Amen. I can't do it on my own. Yeah. Lord, I've tried.
tried. I failed. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Lord, I know if I just put myself into you and, and give my life to you, plant myself in Jesus Christ, the Lord, you'll work through me. Amen. 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 Would. Yep. Right. Second Corinthians chapter 3, verses 1 through 6. If you'll stand with me as we read. <coughs> says, starting verse 1, Do we begin again to commend ourselves? Or need we as some other others epistles of commendation to you or letters of commendation from you. Ye are our epistle written in our hearts, known and read of all men. Yeah. For as much as ye are manifestly declared to be the epistle of Christ, ministrated by us, written not with ink, but with the Spirit of the living God. Yeah. Yeah. Not in tables of stone, but in fleshly tables of the heart. Yeah. And such trust we have or have we through Christ to God word? Not that we are sufficient of ourselves <laughs> to think anything as of ourselves, but our sufficiency is of God, yeah, yeah. who also hath made us. <laughs> we can make ourselves. No, He made us. Amen. Able ministers of the New Testament, not of the letter. But of the Spirit, for the letter killeth, but the Spirit giveth life. Amen. 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 We are not sufficient of ourselves to think anything as of ourselves, but our sufficiency is of God. Amen. Amen. And if we're going to live in the victory that is in Jesus, we're going to live in the likeness of His death. And in the likeness of His resurrection. Amen. Dying to ourselves so that we might live for Him. Amen. Lord, we thank You tonight for Your Word. Lord, we thank You for all day. Lord, it's been good to be in Your house. Amen. To hear Your Word. Lord, we just pray that You would continue to build us up and strengthen us in Your Word. Lord, as we humble ourselves and submit ourselves unto You and commit ourselves, Lord, to uh, rest in Jesus Christ. Lord, for we know that without Him we can do nothing. But as we read also this morning that we can do all things through Christ which strengthens us. Lord, because it is through His power of His resurrection, Lord, that we can overcome the enemies in our life, that we can gain the victory. Lord, that sin will not have dominion over us. Lord, not by our own strength, but by His Lord, we love you and thank you for all that you've done for us, the great many precious promises that we have in your word. Lord, we give you thanks in Jesus' name we pray. Father, Father, God, Amen. I was practicing another one before church, and when I find out, maybe we'll see what happens. <laughs> <coughs> Tempted and tried, we're off me to wander. While it should be. Till this is our living 
Bye and bye.